Kyle Schneider. I am a senior this year. I am Marissa Bauer. I am a junior here at Hamlin. I got involved with Broke Starving Writers. I was talking to a professor and he had mentioned a writing club on campus and I said, oh, hey, uh, who do I get in contact with? I got involved in the club when my friend forced me to go to one of the meetings. Broke Starving Writers, at least the way I envision it, is a place where people can get together and just write comfortably. Each meeting we try to do some sort of activity to start out and then in the last 15, 20 minutes or so we uh, break off and just write on our own through prompts and at the end we're welcome to share if we want to. The Whose Line Is It Anyway skit that we did was actually very fun. It was very interactive and it allowed us to actually like talk with each other and laugh at each other because it was a character developing activity and it's fun to see what people come up with with whatever prompts that they're given. Last year my co-president Austin and I did one where we created a pose and then everybody kind of wrote a short little thing about that pose and the pose was me like laying on the ground clawing at the carpet and Austin in a whole Captain Morgan pose with his foot on top of my back and all triumphant. It was Austin that started the campaign for Dungeons and Dragons and I think because like, he asked most of the people that were in the club at the time to join because we're fairly, I mean, not completely like-minded people, but we all enjoy a little bit of fantasy and a little bit of sci-fi. And so he asked everybody and those who wanted to play joined in on his campaign. And My D&D character is Catalina Alma Josefina Almudena de la Rosa Ramirez, and she's a gnome ranger. My D&D character is Alistair Steelbender. He's a monk druid and uh, at least towards the beginning of the campaign, he pretty much did nothing but screw up and get in trouble and get the rest of the party in trouble. But he's, he's a good guy. She uses a longbow from an elf, so she is much shorter than the weapons she uses. So we run into all these barbarians. It was a rogue, sneaks over, climbs up the cliff behind these barbarians, so this tiny little rogue and these huge barbarians comes up, kicks one in the, behind the knees, he falls over, and punches another one off the cliff. And then, so the next round, she took off a couple more of the barbarians, but there's still like three or four more up top. So they decided, okay, there's no way I'm gonna make a second strength check. So they took their bow, shot an arrow with a little fine rope attached to it, a building behind it to try and you know, jump off and rappel down the cliff. And they missed by just a little bit, so they fell to their deaths, and that was, that was kind of sad. Catalina ended up getting into a drinking contest, and she got drunk after one drink, passed out, and the fire started around her, so she almost died our first session, and that was very fun. 